Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan B. Butler, author of A Saga on Home Video, which we'll be quoting actually this time, oddly enough. We're circling back to something that really pissed me off. This. Lego Star Wars Droid Tales on DVD, which we've looked at previously. And it's not the, 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 the show itself that pissed me off, it's not even really the packaging. It's what that sticker represents there. New on DVD, free exclusive trading card set. Collect all three sets. Yes, this is the one where we had a single release, captures the entire series, that had randomly inserted items where they extolled you to collect them all. And if you were a collector, you'd want to collect them all, which meant buying the same damn thing over and over again. As I put it in a saga on home video, available on Amazon, this release began an odd new pattern in LEGO Star Wars home video products in that it did include a physical bonus, just not in the form of a minifigure. It was how this bonus was handled that drew ire. Each copy of LEGO Star Wars Droid Tales included a small pack of three exclusive Topps trading cards found only in this release. Had they stopped there, that would have been a nifty little pack and that would perhaps be best described as eh, better than nothing. However, there were actually nine cards to collect, divided into packs of three, and there was no way of knowing which cards were included in a given package without opening it. In other words, for someone wanting the entire nine card set of these exclusive trading cards, they would have to buy Droid Tales on DVD at least three times. Probably more, in order to actually get all three card packs, with no guarantee of ever actually acquiring a full set without seeking cards on the secondary market. I suppose we can at least be thankful that which three were bundled together was predetermined, so no pack of three overlapped with the cards in a different pack of three. Only which pack was included was randomized, not the cards per pack. I sometimes sit back after a new release and think, who thought this was a good idea? This was definitely one of those times. Pretty much sums up what I would have said here. So what happened? Why is there a new episode on this? We've already talked about this before. Well, I decided to jump off the deep end. When I originally bought it, of course it came with one set of cards. And eventually, I went on eBay and found that somebody, blessedly, had taken the cards out of theirs and had them up for sale. Granted, cost about as much as buying, you know, another DVD of it, because the DVDs are pretty cheap, like 10 bucks or less most of the time, unless they're sealed. But Still, at least I knew what cards I was getting, so I went ahead and got that auction. And I kept searching, and kept searching, and kept searching, and never found the cards that I needed for the other set, the third set. Until finally, I got paid from teaching a bunch of extra students this semester, and said, you know what? F it. If I'm going to have a second edition of a Saga on Home video eventually, with the color pictures and everything, an expanded edition and everything, I want to look at Droid Tales again, but I want to show every single card, not just an example set of cards, damn it. I want to show everything, which meant I needed to find them. And after a long time of trying multiple times online, on Facebook and whatnot, to try to find someone who might have these cards for sale and have the ones that I needed, I finally, like I said, said F it, got on eBay and hunted down the only three new slash sealed, we'll find that that doesn't mean the same thing, the new slash sealed copies of it that were actual pictures of the product, not stock images, that still had the sticker on it to show that it would have been for back when the cards were definitely, supposedly, included. I found three of them. They were all fairly cheap, so I bought all three of them. Something I promised myself I would not do, but I knew that with my obsessive collecting uh, uh, compulsion, of course, eventually, I was going to wind up doing it. It just pisses me off. So, um, the three finally started to come in the mail. Uh, one of them came in and looked great, right? Great slipcover, packaging, had the disc, had the Disney Movie Reward points, had a pack of cards, and on the first try, I got the cards that I needed. Second and third ones came in. Third one wound up being essentially... New, but no slipcover, Disney Movie Reward points, disc, and not only did it have the cards in it, it was the exact same ones. The, the one set of cards I'd been hunting for years and had never even seen in person, turns out I got twice out of three that I picked up. Um, as for the second one that came in, the one there in the middle that I skipped, um, that was an example of sort of a buyer beware thing when it comes to eBay. When someone says something is sealed, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is new. In this case, it was some dickhead 
um, who apparently decided that they would uh, take the slip cover and put it back onto the product after having opened it and taken out the Disney Movie Reward points and the cards and just re-shrink wrapped it and stuck it back in the slip cover to sell it as sealed, which people usually take as new, as I did. Um, so didn't get any cards with that one and a pox on the house of that jerkweed. Um, but hallelujah for the cost of basically three relatively cheap, supposedly new copies of droid tales. Cause now means I got extra sitting around here that I guess I'll just give away or something. Um, I finally got the cards that I needed and that's what we want to look at. What are finally, cause I've rarely seen these all laid out at once because most people aren't as obsessive as I am to actually get all of them. Um, what were the nine cards in those three packs of three for Lego Star Wars Droid Tales on home video when it came out? Well, the first set that I ever got was this one. We have Rebels. Second one is Darth Vader. And is then packed in with Stormtroopers. And each one has information about them on the back. So that is one pack. The second pack, which is the pack that I got off of eBay has three different cards in it. Again, there is no overlap, thank God. So each pack of three is the same three each time. So you're looking for three different packs, not a random selection of nine cards, which would have made it even more difficult to get them. Here we have Luke Skywalker, Emperor Palpatine, and packed with them, C-3PO and R2-D2. Then the one that I had never managed to get my hands on before that I wound up getting twice by buying those three, I can't believe I had to do that, but still. It's Jedi, Anakin Skywalker, and Darth Maul. So, hallelujah! One of the annoying Holy Grails? Is that even a thing? One of the annoying holes in my collection has now finally been filled, so I can show you those in color all together when there's a new edition of a saga on home video. Not sure I would have cared enough to hunt them down if I wasn't looking at a second edition of the book in a few years. Um, but finally, that part of the quest is over. Uh, it's a pain. It really is a pain to get your hands on those. But thankfully, most people won't go through the pain because, hey, it's just stupid little cards. Who really cares? Only the obsessive like yours truly, unfortunately. Um, just wanted to show you those now that I've got them all so you can see what all, th all nine of them are and how they're divided up into threes. So maybe if you're trying to collect these, you'll know what to look for. But again, it's entirely random, so it all comes down to luck. With that, though, we'll wrap up this episode and my hunt for those stupid things. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers.